the answer is a very easy one. It's nothing whatsoever to do with an obligatory Sabbath keeping for us as Christians, Jew or Gentile. That's part of the law of Moses in the letter. But you should pray that your flight not be in the winter or the Sabbath. Those are external conditions that would make your flight more difficult. The winter, right? External to you. Sabbath keeping would be going on in Israel. And as you know, they closed the gates of the city. And it would be hard for you to get out of there. So that's a very easy answer. is to do with the external conditions like winter and Sabbath keeping surrounding you if you're in Jerusalem. That would make it more difficult, just as pregnancy would make it more difficult. So that's a very good question. But Sabbath keeping, Colossians 2.16, absolutely clear. Don't let anybody tell you what to do in terms of food and drink or Sabbath, holy days and new moons. The three forms of the calendar, all of it. Sabbath day, new moons monthly and annual festivals. Those are not, I repeat, not required in the new covenant because the body of Christ, the Messiah himself, who is now living at the right hand of the Father, has replaced those shadows. If you're insisting on Sabbath keeping, you're insisting, unfortunately, on a shadow that's been replaced by the living Christ himself, who is at the right hand of the Father currently.